Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Those jousting for their place as the head of the world governments have suggested that they have a plan for people in which they will own nothing and be happy about it. I wondered what that would look like in reality for a thinking person. So without further ado, let's dive into exploring the three ways a voluntarist could own nothing and be happy about it. The first approach is embracing primitive minimalism. Minimalism is a lifestyle that focuses on living with less of the material possessions that help one have a good life and instead prioritizing immediate survival over those material things. This is how the human race first lived. Cavemen admittedly lived shorter, poorer, and more sickly lives prior to modern advancements like medicine, machines, work specialization, and individual freedom. But by reducing one's belongings to only essentials, a voluntarist could free up their time energy, and resources to focus on the things that world leaders say truly matter in life, the greater public good. The second way a voluntarist could own nothing and be happy is by participating in the centralized social economy. The centralized economy, often called democratic socialism, is a Marxist system in which individuals can access resources, goods, and services without having to own them. This process is managed by a central planning group, often government. Examples of this include public transit, affordable efficiency apartment rentals, public-private partnerships, and state-subsidized co-working spaces. By engaging in the centralized economy, a voluntarist could enjoy the benefits of various goods and services without the burden of ownership, saving effort and reducing their environmental footprint. The third and final way it is said that a voluntarist could own nothing and be happy is by focusing on contributing to the greater public good. Instead of accumulating possessions, they could prioritize cultivating a strong feeling of duty to friends, family, party leaders, and their assigned community. By being obedient to leadership and working hard without complaint or negativity toward the vision shared by the world leaders, it is said happiness could be obtained. Is it really true that a voluntarist could own nothing and still be happy by embracing primitive minimalism, participating in a centralized economy, and focusing on contribution to the commune through obedience and collective work? As for me, having examined the ideas that I just mentioned, I think that perhaps the international leaders are not correct. Rather, I choose to be an individual, a proud producer of value. I choose to voluntarily trade with other free individuals in a free market. It occurs to me that for a voluntarist to embrace the concept of owning nothing and being happy about it, they would need to give up the one thing that matters most, themselves. Are not our lives our own to be lived as we choose? Should not our lives and the products of our labor belong to us completely as individuals? Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Let us know in the comments below which of the ways I discussed seem most appealing to you, if any, and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Until next time, stay happy and free.